we've got, of course, course, Bill and myself, but also the Purple Headed Warrior, Damien Barrett, newsbreaker extraordinaire in. As is Spud. It's not normally uh, his domain, the midweek run, Spud, no, but I, you're I in today. Be. Yeah, I, I did the right thing and played in the Triple M Golf Day, which is an outstanding... Uh, was. The, the boys from Bunnings and Karcher were absolutely they, outstanding they were your partners. partners. Yeah. They were really good. And Any other sponsors there you liked? Oh, Momentum good. Energy. Momentum I played with. Energy they were, were fantastic. terrific, Bill. Yeah. But, no, it was a great day. It was a, it was it a was. magnificent yeah. day. I but it. I would have thought doing playing the golf game and putting myself out there mm-hmm. for um, you know all the all the clients and it That's was it. great to press the That's flesh it. exactly uh, would have made me exempt from coming no, in this no, way. No, this meant you came in Wednesday. Jill, the producer here, lovely Jill. Beautiful said Jill. you've got to get in here for the uh, Wednesday it. run. And, and you I do said, that's your Chiefs told. domain. No, well, Chiefs. Well, it's the most boring half hour <laughs> radio you've ever seen <laughs> <laughs> with little black currant eyes, Chief, with his um, big forehead. <laughs> Tell you what, we went out for dinner last night, Bill, and uh, we went out with Chief. And How are you going anyway, Spud? Yeah, you I'm went going out well, Bill. <laughs> his, um, his shirt was like oh. a, a sort of tea towel knit together. Oh, no. But it wasn't the actual shirt that took me eye. Oh. It was the buttons that were just about ready to pop. <laughs> like I, Is he, I, He's getting bigger, isn't he? I said to the waiter, we need some uh, glasses because one of those buttons pop, we're going to get blind. I've <laughs> noticed, Purple, as we say hello <laughs> to you. Hello, Purple. Um, Thanks, sorry, Warrior. Well, I've noticed that a formerly v- a very tight relationship between oh. Spud and the Chief mm. appears to have soured to the point where it's now open abuse. I think Chief oh. called him a hayseed yeah. last week. Yeah. Well, there, Chief, there's something happened, I think, in one of the uh, Yesterday's Heroes segments that, 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 that will yep. not make it to air. I've been told on such good authority that they actually had to cut it, and it was actually very, very real. And since then, it's just yep. all bets off. Yes. The thing that, uh, for the listeners, Chief makes out he's this humble, down-to-earth person that Does presses he? the flesh. <laughs> well, that's what he thinks. Oh. He would be the most ignorant, selfish, <laughs> self-indulgent, big-headed, fat-headed, no-necked person I've ever met. Oh. <laughs> Damo, this is where it's got to. So there's Jared Waitley <laughs> getting interviewed about... Oh, well, he wrote the book on black caviar. and oh, oh, he's, oh, I just He called him beautifully, and he's on. one of the great black caviar fans, of Come course, on, who retired Come at three o'clock. Night. Just on that, Joe, are you going to be uh, bidding for her first... Foal like you did McCobby Deaver's first uh, foal and I wouldn't have thought cost so, about three point six million and uh, sold for seventeen thousand. I, I wouldn't have thought so, Purple. Well, and I'm not appreciating the lilt in your voice either. When do you get the crispies uh, for the dividend? <laughs> oh, you're, you're suddenly speaking Spud, eh? You're losing a Spud. He thinks it's <laughs> hilarious. What was no, it? You laugh. <laughs> what, what do you yeah. get back? Actually, you were at seventeen thousand. Was a four thousand dollar outlay for a, a quarter of a percent. Yeah. Yeah. For a quarter percent. Yeah. So how much do you get back? It's about forty-five bucks each. <laughs> and but I think we owe them. Uh, we haven't paid our vet fees for a while. The postage stamp. A, the, the fossil wants forty-five bucks in a check. <laughs> he actually wants to see the wedge. <laughs> hey, uh, James Heard had to yeah. front a sardo purple. Uh, what do we know about that? Ah, uh, just that it went between ten thirty and five thirty yesterday. As far as I can tell, that was it. Does Spud Diego and. Uh, you look after the coaches. You spoke to James, or did you go and comfort him? Conversations, Bill. Not <coughs> talking not to the mic last there, week, You've taken a hands-off yeah. approach on this, though, haven't you? Really, you, you don't, haven't done, haven't rolled well, the sleeves up too much. Don't know. It's an AFL. Listen to this. As I said last week, it's an AFL Asada, and in some cases, an A double C investigation. So, I'm a little bit over the. AFL Coaches Association's heads, I would have thought. You've taken a hands-off <laughs> approach, according to Purple. Spud, you don't need to take Spud. that. Saying I'm not taking it. I'm not even going to explain <laughs> myself, because seriously, I'll chin you. How are you two getting on, by the way? Because I hear yeah. that on Saturday, Purple's got a document that oh, he's no. bringing to the table, uh, like, like the, uh, the the International Cool Breeze from a coaches while ago, tapes and then, of course, year. the Coaches Tapes, <laughs> and new versions coming through, Spud. Don't laugh, Bill. Look it, at Bill the Coaches there. Tapes were funny. Spud, <laughs> you've got to go along with that. The they cool were breeze, funny. Stuff. That was the good stuff. But this is the um, this won't... official application that you made to the Richmond Footy Club. That's oh, a private document. Coach. Spud. Now, I'm How's not... he ended up with yeah, that? Yeah, where'd you Chompers. Go? Oh. <laughs> Tony <laughs> Chompers Jones. <laughs> I had a copy with him three years, five years ago when I was working at Channel 9 oh, Footy no. Show when it was... I'm not oh, confirming oh, that, Spud. Damo, you yeah. know as well as I do, old um, $50,000 co- smile Jones, old chompers there, <laughs> I will has, never has cop handballed up the it to you. He's actually photocopied it. That's uh, that's a giveaway. You run with that oh, and you, you cannot run, well, you cannot run with it. It's a private document between myself and then the Richmond board. Well, how did he the get it then? The statute of limitations is expired on that. You don't have to ask Chompers. Mm. He just said he's going with it, Spud. The statute of limitations has expired on that. No, I don't think so. On Genius. Saturday. 
Yep. Yeah. Now, what a, look, well, we don't run with it, but what a cracking game we got on Saturday. <laughs> Seriously, the Saturday games, to be brutally honest, haven't oh, been no, great for us. Be brilliant. We'll, we'll get to that in a sec, bud. What are you going to do <laughs> if Purple goes with that document? I might have to start digging up something on you. And I might have something, too. Oh. I might. He was the author, editor of some mag- magazine that uh, lasted about three weeks. <laughs> they uh, prized him out of the Herald Sun and said, you're the man. <laughs> this big, glossy magazine. I think it was called uh, Sports Weekly or something. And had Dermot as one of his co-editors. <laughs> and the old, the old Walker, or Walkfry, brought it to its ground. Like, the shares, when they opened up, were about $4.50. Yes. And? After three weeks, <laughs> <laughs> two cents, out the door. And Wok Fry had to walk in with little, like Oliver in that movie. Can I have some more, <laughs> sir? You walk want more? To, walk back oh, to Peter no. Blunder at the Herald Sun. Oh, Can I have my little job oh, back? No. Okay, grab that typewriter and whack away. Is that what happened? Well, uh, I had to, to go to Brisbane after that. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good move. <laughs> Taking a break. It's time for this uh, Hig and uh, much, have a this, uh, much anticipated. Have a listen, Warren. Greatness has entered the studio. <laughs> Former superstar fullback and longest serving captain of St Kilda. Vice captain of Victoria. And coach of Richmond's 2001 preliminary final team. This is Danny Frawley's Spud for Dance. I think about it, I'm quite happy with that. Oh, Purple, good. he constructed his own yeah. intro <laughs> for this segment, Spud. All right, well, let's go. Gonna... The Spuds, well, of course, if you're just with, joining uh, us, uh, the, the goods. The showdown on Adelaide. You would have thought, Bill, 3-0, Ken Hinckley. Ken Hinckley, mate. mate, I'm telling you. Long teammate in those grand final. Adam Scott, obviously, I know it's old news, but he's obviously uh, oh, a just, superstar. Just put golf on the map. No, got we love it. There for the next five years. You know, Bill? Sam Newman wasn't going for him because he had the long putter, the oh, broomstick putter. He is. Black caviar. This is good, Danny. This is good. No, don't know. Black caviar has been retired today. Now, 25 to 25. 15 oh, group ones. 15 group ones. A record, Bill, and unbeaten. What a, an unblemished record. Joe Pride and all those Sydney trainers. I thought Black caviar was going to go up there and <laughs> cop that, Joe. I'll tell you what. We've got Windburn up there, my friend. Chrissy Waller. Gay Waller. Chrissy Waller. And old Gay in there. Bad luck. Bad luck, Sydney. Suck lemon. So Black Caviar <laughs> went up there. They said, hey, this is the best field for 10 years. What happened? Got Windburn. That's what happened. That's what happened. So anyway, there the um, spuds oh, for the week. Spuds, the duds, right. I've got a couple... Um, oh. A couple of audios. Um, oh, start with Caro. Yeah. Apparently, give me a clip on uh, Footy Classified Monday night. Your organisation is getting a massive amount of money from the AFL every year. You think that when an allegation as serious as the ones that were made against James Hurd and Simon Goodwin were first aired, right or wrong, you might have just looked into it in your role. What did you do? You blamed the media. Danny, you're part of the media. Oh, well, I'll, no, I'll, I'll take I'll take a, a clip when I need yes. one. But Caro is a very good reporter mm. and she does a very good job. But? I was supporting, um, just trying to put a balance into the fact that James hadn't even been interviewed yet, Bill. So anyway, um, now the yeah, last... Nice to see you firing so, uh, slugs into someone else, Purple, oh, by well. the way. That's what <laughs> I'm enjoying. Well, i got to... Did you, you know. establish what you are doing with that? Yeah, OK, way? Warrior. <laughs> the, are you running this show? You'll be in there in a minute, the way you're going. Actually, you won't get in there, because... Anyway, oh, wait, wait, Hamish wait. McLaughlin. Oh, I don't oh, want to put him oh, in. Oh, no, oh, no, no, I don't. No, because no, after, I've got a little bit of audio there first. Uh, have we got any audio no, there? Of, not sure that no, we do. No, we, we haven't. Anyway, oh. Hamish, what Hamish did for Channel 7 doing a great job. Yeah. He's interviewing all the Group mm-hmm. 1 winners. Black caviar, as it's turned out, it's last race ever. Yeah. All remember is poor old Hammer interviewing Luke Nolan oh, no. on Snowy. Oh, Snowy. Oh, no, is that, you with me, boys? Oh, yeah. No, with Snowy. Now, Snowy. Lame, a little bit. A little bit. Oh, it, was a, it was really lame, Bill. Get off the horse hammer and interview Luke walking along or carry the horse because oh, carry the horse. That, that is going to go down in folklore now. Yeah. The last interview, Black Caviar winning its 25th straight oh, no. with old <laughs> hammer time. No, he's nearly fallen off old Snowy. Snowy had to have an operation. Oh, Snowy's gone in like, for an operation. Was walking like it VT has. in that oh, horse. No. <laughs> it was looking like Brian oh, rather than oh, like a big pebble in his shoe. Hey, Snowy. Oh, come oh, on, come on, come on, Snowy's gone in for an operation. The play. <laughs> You've been around horses and polo, all that sort of jazz. You knew the horse was stuffed. Get off it. Oh, no. It wasn't Get when he, he started. Get off it, Hammer. 
And walk the bloody thing. It wasn't when he started. He I went over go on YouTube, and if you haven't seen it, I don't. Come oh, on, Hammer oh, Time. Oh, poor old Hammer. Oh, gee oh, no. whiz. Is that the end of the day? That's it. That's it. I've got nothing else. I'm stuffed. I'm absolutely I'm stuffed. stuffed. Tony oh, Lockett. Don't you bring that <laughs> document. Don't you bring that document set, though, I tell you. Oh, bring the Tony Purple. Lockett speech. How do you reckon he's gone in uh, the midweek rub first, bud? <laughs> How do you like me? That's a good quinella. How do you like me homework there? It's good. It's good preparation, was it? He's <laughs> scribbling on a bit of paper. <laughs> Look at him. Oh. Hey, uh, Bill. Yes. The jokes. Oh yes, they've been good. Come on, Bill. Smart. You ready? I need some encouragement. Purple loves the jokes. As well. Just before you do, well, uh, Brent Harvey is on the show tomorrow. Oh, a little boom boom. And I hate to say this because Bill's here. Sexual anthropologist Dr. Bella is going to join us. Mm, Bill's excited. Beautiful. <laughs> Looking forward to that because we we talk. Sex Sensible stuff, don't we? we? Do. She's been here before, Dr. Bella. Fantastic. She has. So and she's, we're looking forward to that. And we just be responsible. We don't carry on like little kids. And... <laughs> oh, yeah. Bill. Not <laughs> uh, embarrassing. Come on, right, Bill. Come on, Bill. Finish with a joke. Uh, a drunk staggers out of a bar and runs into two priests that just happen to be walking past. Oh, no. <laughs> he says, Gay boys. He goes, I'm Jesus Christ. They go, Oh, yeah, we hear that a bit. Don't worry, mate. Not like... He goes, No, no, I'll show you. Come with me. So he grabs the two priests and he walks back into the bar and the bartender says, Jesus Christ, you're not back here again. Oh, 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 no. Spuds off. <laughs> the headphones off. He's out. Yeah, car keys. Gone. Oh, he walked out of the studio. Oh, no. <laughs> he, he just left the building. Look at Spud. All right. So I liked the, it. The spin effects roll through. Yes. You Purple, ready, did you have anything uh, by way of that joke? Slightly better than last week. One bill, but only just. You liked the lettuce one, didn't you? The lettuce, the iceberg. Yes. <laughs> the iceberg. <laughs> All right, uh, Plastic Bertrand from the 70s. Blank Blue Wah. 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 Blue W